Hi guys, how are you today? Another video 100% in English. Today I would like to give you three simple steps on how to speak English more naturally. The idea here is to give you a few suggestions on what things you can do to improve your intonation, to improve your pronunciation, so that you can speak more clearly, more naturally, like native speakers do. Many people come to me and leave me comments or emails or talk to me about this. Priscilla, your intonation is really good, your pronunciation is nice, how do you do it? Well, first, thank you. But I must say, I make several mistakes, I'm still working on this. And this is something that you always have to work on, but you can improve. So if you struggle with this pronunciation, intonation, speaking more clearly, more naturally, there are definitely things you can do to improve that, okay? And that's what I'm going to show you today. Things you can do to help you improve your intonation and your pronunciation. These steps are easy to follow and you can use pretty much any material on the internet to help you with that. The first step is to listen. So simple, but so important. Choose a show you like, anything, TV series, movies, TV news, any kind of uh, material, any video that you like, you can use, okay? And then, as you have chosen the content you want to watch, really pay attention to it. Listen to what they are saying. If you need to activate subtitles, do so. If your listening skills are sharper, then I suggest you not to do that, because then you can do two kinds of exercises, working on intonation and listening skills. But if, you're not, if your listening skills are not that great yet, no problems. Activate subtitles, pay attention at what they are uh, uh, saying, and uh, really focus on every word, every vocabulary, every expression they use during these conversations. One important thing to keep in mind, though, when you're following this first suggestion, this first step is the material cannot be too long. Keep it short, keep it simple. The longer the content is, the more difficult it will become. Keeping you focused will be difficult if the content is very long and it will be challenging to keep up with the, the words they are saying if your video is one hour long. And as your purpose here is to practice intonation and pronunciation, the shorter the video, the easier it will be for you to exercise. My next step is observe. You need to observe. Sometimes we are watching things but we are not really paying attention. And when we want to improve our intonation, there is so much more than just listen. As I said, listening is the first step, but if you just do it alone, you are not really working on your intonation. So you need to observe how the speakers speak, how they move, how they interact, how they use their body language to communicate to say what they are saying. Learning a language is so much more than just learning words. That's why observing is important, okay? Face expressions, the way they speak is much more than just moving lips, all right? I know so many students who have achieved uh, an intermediate level and even though they have a good structure knowledge, they struggle with intonation and pronunciation because this is something, what I'm teaching you today, is something that you should do since the very beginning. Uh, from the moment you start studying a language is when you have to start practicing this as well. And many students who have reached an intermediate level struggle with the intonation and pronunciation because they don't exercise this. They haven't exercised this since the beginning and now they have these challenges. Don't worry, you will be able to improve it if that's your case, okay? But now keep in mind that observing what you're watching, really paying attention in every movement they make is key. And by watching these TV shows or TV news, it depends on what you choose, you will see how these people interact, what kind of fixed expressions they make, the sounds, the sound is rising or falling, all of this uh, makes a difference. You know, all these aspects make uh, an important difference that you will start to, to feel and to notice as you keep doing these exercises. So listening and observing, all right? Well, now that you have decided what you're going to watch to do this exercise, and remember, it has to be short. Now you were listening to it, paying attention at it. You are now observing every aspect of that scene that you have decided to use. Now it is time to imitate. Exactly. You are going to try to do exactly what they are doing in that scene. That's why I told you it has to be short. 
Imagine trying to imitate a one hour video, that's gonna be really hard, believe me. So try to follow their face expressions, uh, their uh, pronunciation, their intonation, the way they speak. Are they trying to, are they speaking slowly? Are they speaking fast? Are they angry? Are they happy? These are all things you need to pay attention at and try to imitate. And even the silence moments, when they're quiet, when they're not saying anything, when they're breathing, Really, it's a fun exercise depending on the, on the video you choose. I always try to, to, to look for videos I like uh, because then it becomes something fun that uh, not only will I learn, but I will also have fun while you're doing it. By following these three steps, listening, observing, imitating, you will be able to see, to notice consistent improvement as you keep doing it. And remember, as I always tell on my videos, persistence and consistency. Uh, the more persistent you are and the more consistent you are with these exercises, the more improvement you will see. Now, to show you that uh, I also do this exercise and it is challenging but totally possible to do by yourself at home, I chose a short uh, video uh, extract and I will show you how to do this exercise, okay? Maybe a little bit challenging. I'm also practicing like you guys. This is a... a a frequent exercise I do, okay? So I'm working as hard as you guys are. The video I chose was from uh, Obama's speech during a commencement at Howard University. It was this year, if I'm not wrong, and uh, it was very nice. I chose a very short part because the commencement speech is, was long, so I chose just one part, and I practiced it, I watched it, I observed it, um, and now I'm gonna show you how it would be like, okay? I did not. I was not able to memorize this speech. I will have to read it, okay? But I hope you guys can have an idea of what this of what this exercise is like, okay? And I really liked doing this video. I really like politics, and I admire Obama so much. So I was very happy to choose a video from him. I love the way he speaks. He's very clear. His ideas are clear. His English is perfect. So he is a wonderful example of how to speak really nicely, at least in my humble opinion, okay? If you were listening to today's political debate, you might wonder where this strain of anti-intellectualism came from. So, so, so class of 2016, let me be as clear as I can be. In politics and in life, ignorance is not a virtue. It's not cool to not know what you're talking about. That's not keeping it real or telling it like it is. That's not challenging political correctness. That's just not knowing what you're talking about. Now, what did I try to do here? I tried to follow his speed. I tried to follow his intonation. You know, while I was doing the exercise before that, I did practice a little bit. Uh, it is hard to speak like a woman and I have no intentions of speaking like him. I will have to work really hard in life to be able to talk like him. But it's just an exercise and it's supposed to be fun. And when you choose someone you like, it makes it so much more interesting to do it. So I will leave the link to his speech here. I tried to put it in the video. I was not sure if it would work or not. So um, I hope you guys watch this video as well and like it. And choose someone you like. That's my final suggestion. And then try to follow uh, the steps I gave you, these three simple steps. And I'm sure that you will be able to improve your intonation, your pronunciation, and uh, pretty much your speaking as a whole, all right? Well, guys, I hope you have liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and like this video, all right? Well, guys, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.